distinctive you say, Scott? Yes, sir. Seems to have left behind. There appears to be some markings on the handle, sir. Right, just back it up, Scott, and uh, we'll look at it later, and we'll protect the tip. Ambulance service is refusing to answer some 999 calls in a bid to save more lives. The London Ambulance Service has become the first in the country to refuse to respond to 999 calls. Bosses want to cut down on the number of inappropriate calls, which they say is preventing staff from saving lives. But critics say the new policy will actually put patients at more risk, as Sharon Thomas now reports. Simon Small has worked for the service for 11 years. He'll be one of the team who will now say no to callers. People with toothaches, cut fingers with a very, very minor cut, these are possibly the ones which we will be uh, saying, no, we're not going to send you an ambulance because it's not appropriate to tie up a frontline vehicle for such a minor, minor ailment. This is not a decision the London Ambulance Service has taken lightly. Be warned, if you dial 999, you'll no longer automatically be sent an ambulance. The London service is toughening up on its call-outs because it says too many people expect emergency help when there's no sign of an emergency. From today, they will be screening the calls and sending some towards a phone helpline instead. Here's Jane Francis Kelly. The ambulance service say that all calls will be carefully screened, but if they don't think it's serious enough to warrant an ambulance, they'll refer the caller to this desk where they'll give out practical advice about what to do. Something like a cut finger, we can give them first aid advice, we can give them home care advice ourselves. Uh, we may suggest that they go off to a minor injury unit, one of the ones which are in London, uh, refer them off to a GP, or even suggest that they go and visit their chemist. Call it what you will, boys, toys or life-saving technology, there's something new and interesting at every turn. And the paramedics kitted out to lift the most obese of patients. We've got a one-ton winch, electric winch inside to be able to uh, assist staff in loading up the patient as well. And we can take patients and quite regularly do up to 50, 60 stone in weight. Good evening, I'm Assad Ahmed. There have been calls for an urgent inquiry into the death of a patient at a private hospital in East London. It follows an investigation by BBC London into claims by a former nurse at Roding Hospital of unsafe working practices. Well, the hospital in Ilford say the whistleblower's allegations are untrue. Paul Curran has a special report. In a letter to the Leahy family, the hospital said there was no problem with the resuscitation. It says a clinical audit report was filled out and any concerns would have been picked up by senior staff. We showed a copy of the report to an advanced life support provider. Based on the evidence from the form, he says more drugs should have been used. I wouldn't have considered this as a satisfactory um, resuscitation attempt in a hospital based on the presence of someone who's trained in advanced life support. Uh, I would have expected more cardiac drugs to have been given.